Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can use arrays to determine the totals of various multiplication problems, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first off, let's make sure we understand what an array is. An array is a display of objects, and it has to have equal rows. So we're going to keep that in mind, that we need to make sure our display of circles or squares is not simply just a collection of stuff, but it needs to be equal. So let's say I've got some circles. And right now I don't necessarily have an array. I've just got a, a whole bunch of circles lined up. But now I have an array because you see I've got two rows of equal numbers of circles. Now I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to add another one. Now, if I wanted to know how many circles do I have all together, well, first I can say this is a 4 by 6 array because I've got four rows, and there are six circles in each row, or six columns. And so one of the things that we can do with arrays is we can use them to skip count. So you hopefully in third grade are starting to work on your skip counting, skip counting by twos, by threes, by fours, by five, sixes, all the way up to by tens. So if I wanted to skip count by sixes, I could. I could skip count, I could say that's six, six more is 12, six more is 18, and then six more is 24. So I skip counted by sixes, and it looks like there's going to be 24 circles in this array. If I wanted to check, I literally could just count every single one, and by the time I get all the way down to the bottom, I would have 24. You could also skip count vertically, and then go side to side if you wanted to. So you can say, in this first column, you've got 4, skip count, another 4 is 8, another 4 is 12, 16, 20, 24. So once again, we're sitting at our sum of these columns if you wanted to think of them as adding or you can think of it as a product if you wanted to say six times four the total one way or the other is going to be 24. So another example could be uh, a word problem something like this let's say you are collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you put them into a page protector and each page protector looks like this. So you would need to count and see it's an array, and it is a three by three array. So then the question might be, if you have, oh, let's just pick a number. Let's say eight pages, just like this one over here, how many cards can you collect? Or how many cards do you have? That might be a little bit better grammatically. So you're not going to see all eight pages. You're only going to see this one page. And so what you can do is you can use this array to first figure out the total on this first page. So this first page, if you want, you could write out every single number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, or you could just skip count three, six, nine. So you've got one page that's got nine. And if you want, you can just use your multiplication fact that you might know. But let's go ahead and just draw out eight pages. And if we wanted to, we could draw out uh, this little array for each of these. But you know what? We already figured out that each array is only going to have nine. So let's just put nine for each of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip count by nines. Or if you know your multiplication fact, you can already jump to the answer. But nine plus another nine, I'll put that down here, is going to be 18. Plus another nine is 27. Another nine is 36. This is why skip counting is so important. 45, 54, 63, and 72. So if I wanted to write this as a number sentence, I would say eight groups of nine. I've got eight pages with nine each, and that is going to be 72.